We're in North Finland and Lapland. We're extremely close to the North Pole, which is why it is negative degrees Fahrenheit or negative 22 degrees Celsius. We traveled three days to get here. We were at Kax, 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 I think. Kax Lottenun, home of the famous glass igloos. And why stay in a glass igloo, you may ask? Because they're the best view of the Northern Lights. Northern Finland is one of the best places in the entire world to see the Northern Lights. That is what we're here to do, and hopefully we see them. But for now, I'm going to show you inside. It's, it's built for short people, like me. All right, here is our glass igloo. We are igloo number 25. We have a beautiful view of the trees right here. There's two twin beds. Um, I think it's because you couldn't fit like a bigger bed through that little door. <laughs> I think that's why it's two twin beds. And the, um, the zebra aesthetic is really interesting. There is a bathroom in here. Thank gosh, we have a toilet, a little sink, a little mirror, just stuff to, you know, do business. Do business. And then there's showers in the mess hall across the way. So definitely need to take some of those after all the traveling. Over here is the Aurora alarm. So anytime Aurora Borealis or Northern Lights are going off, this alarm blares at you, wakes you up, lets you know, and then you can just press the black button once you know. But I love that they do that because obviously when you come all the way up here, you don't want to miss that experience. It's funny there's not much to show you because this is a this is a quaint glass igloo, but you know what is really nice is they did give us coffee. As soon as I figure out how to work it, we're gonna have some coffee. Subscribe if you want to, and let's get into the video. We're going to get lunch right now, because I slept through breakfast. Well, here's the whole bar, one tap. Soup and bread. Two types of people. He's really disappointed. You need to eat vegetables. No. <laughs> Last night they were serving reindeer and the guy goes, Oh, it's so good. We killed him last night. And I was like, I was like, we're literally going like reindeer riding tomorrow. And tonight we're eating reindeer. <laughs> so something about being this north on the planet means that there is really no sun or daylight. There's just kind of dusk for a few hours and we are already losing it and it's already getting dark. So I guess we're gonna go play in the snow and enjoy our last like 30 minutes of being able to see. So you stay warm, negative 10 degree weather. I forgot, I'm not wearing waterproof pants. I don't trust you with this. Why not? What's the worst thing that could happen? I could die. I could die. Okay, ready? All right. This isn't sketch at all. Ah! Ah! I'm getting my fun. workout in. This is actually pretty fun. We should do this more often. I'm scared. We're going really fast. You ready? You ready? No. I didn't know you could run that fast. Oh, I'm sliding with you! <laughs> it snowed, so now it's like an actual igloo. The snow's like packed in here. So sick. It's like a real igloo now. <laughs> it's so cute! Are you excited? So handsome. This reminds me of the time I surprised Pearson with reindeer because she didn't think they were real. Wait! Are they real? Are they you real? Remember when you said that reindeer aren't real? Well, um, they are. I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. One of them always got to be ugly. Which one is it? Let's see what you got. Ooh. Nice form. I look like Rudolph. My nose is so red. I'm so excited. I was able to do dog sledding in Sweden last year and it was really cool to see those type of dog in their natural habitat and now we're getting to see a reindeer in their natural habitat. We should name him. We should name him. What do you think? I think Blitzen. Blitzen? I like Blitzen. He's a handsome guy. Watch right who now. you're calling handsome. He's even handsomer. Uh. So do you uh, 
Come here often? And I'm hoping that you stick around me To stay in the circle, we all connected just like a to the beat of his own hoof. How's it going, babe? Thanks. You show me love and taking me. We made it. <laughs> and we're covered in snow. So is he. Thanks, Ain't nobody else gonna love me like you. Not entertaining thoughts of the mysteries. Oh, How do you feel about climate change? Yeah, me too. This is obviously off of one that has dropped them. The reindeer grow them uh, every year and they drop them once a year. Well, we are definitely snowed in. We are snowed into our igloo. Reindeer sledding was absolutely incredible. That was hands down one of the coolest things I've ever done, ever experienced. It was magical. Unfortunately, I am 0 for 2 with Northern Lights. We missed them again this year. We did not get to see them. I'm bummed, but I know I'll see them one day. I'm determined. Next year, we're coming back to Finland and we're gonna see them. It's just one of those things where it is extremely, extremely unpredictable. You really cannot predict them, even the hour of. It's so hard to find them. But overall, I would rate this experience an absolute 10 out of 10. If you ever ever have the opportunity, I would definitely recommend coming up to Northern Finland or just anywhere in Finland. Frankly, the people were so nice. Everything was beautiful and clean. I had such an incredible time here. And Kaxlotinen, the resort itself, I also loved. I would definitely recommend it. And if you do come, definitely go on the reindeer ride or another one of their experiences. I know they have a ton of different options, but yeah. Well, this officially concludes my two weeks of travels. If you missed it, you can go check out the videos. We started off with me surprising Justice, my boyfriend, with a trip to New York City. Then I checked out Air France's first class experience. We flew to Paris. We took the Orient Express, which is the most one of the most luxurious trains in the world. And finally, last but very not least, my favorite, we stayed in this glass igloo. I hope you guys have enjoyed all the December videos. I enjoyed making them for you. And now I'm hopping back on a plane tomorrow to head home to Los Angeles. So by the time you guys see this, I'll be home with my dog. I miss him. All right, subscribe if you want to. Thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.